Hello, my name is Anne Sharman. I'm a psychic clairvoyant and tarot reader. I also work as a past life regressionist and I teach spiritual development and meditation. And today I'm going to tell you how you can work with your psychic clairvoyance and develop it. Hello, in this video I'm going to tell you how you can read tarot cards. Tarot cards sometimes are a little bit of mystery to people. They don't actually really like them or they don't understand how they work. I tend to work with my cards intuitively, which means each card is really has its own meaning, but I tend to work with it using my psychic intuition. To get to know your tarot cards, the best way is to buy your own pack and not let someone buy a pack for you. A lot of people think that you need to get someone buy you a pack, but that's not actually the case because you need to be drawn to a pack of cards and not the ones that other people think are suitable for you. Usually, when I get a new pack of tarot cards, I sleep with them under my pillow and I carry them round with me all the time in my bag. I get to know them as I would a friend. You need to be able to relate to your cards and get to know which one mean what to you. Don't just read the book that comes with them, but get each card and each day have one card that you concentrate on and know which one means what to you. There are many decks of cards, but you may find that there's some that really attract you and draw you. When you're using your cards, don't be afraid of practicing and practicing with people. I usually use this spread here, which is called the Celtic Cross. Here we have what's gone on in the last few months. This is the main card of the pack here. This is what's recently happened. This is what's going to happen. Again here is what's going on in your life at the moment. This section here is about your work and somebody who you may have contact with in a romantic involvement with, somebody that's important to you in your life. This card is your hopes and fears, things that you don't want in your life or you want in your life and you're not quite sure which way it's going. And this is the outcome. And this is the way I read my tarot cards for any clients. The pentacles are money. The wands or the sticks are to do with the mind. If you've got swords in the reading, it's normally because there's a little bit of frustration and anger and the cups are all about love, romance, family situations. The major arnica with the chariot is all about standing still and not able to move forward. You get to learn your cards. You let them talk to you rather than you follow any instructions or any books that you may have. And that is how you learn to read your tarot cards.